hey guys, as you saw, this one shot is a real sudden death. It also doesn't take long to set up. We are using the Anim of Life and Death. This does 10% of your max HP and damage. That means normally, you have to get 6 million health to be able to one shot most people. But that seems quite hard, even with good gear. The sad thing about the ability is that no modifier will increase the damage, not even versatility. Or well actually, there is one thing able to give the damage boost. And that is PvP scaling. PvP scaling will boost it a lot, making us able to one shot people if we can get our health to about 1.8 million while having every item except our necklace below 286 eye level. It's hard, but not impossible. We are going to use a lot of different items and tricks to achieve this. The standard items we are going to use is Emblem PP Trinket, Consumables, Strength of the Warden, as well as another trinket from Guru Basharina, the Defending Champion. This gives you a 10% max HP boost. All of this is still not near enough. Even worse is that once you enter PP combat, your Anima HP boost and the Emblem Trinket is nerfed a lot. A thing not many people know is that PP scaling will nerf any high eye level trinket depending on the PP eye level of your equipped gear. Using a 460 badge, for example, while in 445 eye level gear will make it only give you as much strength as a 445 badge. This is the case before the pre patch at least. To solve our problem of missing health, we're gonna use a gear swap trick with three traits of strength in numbers. These traits give you a massive HP boost if you have five nearby enemies. And to spawn five enemies, we're gonna use the gently squeezed toad. This trait will persist if you remove the gear pieces themselves, making us able to use high eye level asset pieces to proc the buff, and then we remove them afterwards. We're getting a bit closer to the side health, but we still need quite a bit more. The second trick is an interesting rallying cry technique. You see, it increases your temporal HP by 15%. That means if you have a lot of health, you can use the rallying cry. And then once you lower your health, Rallying Cry is still gonna give the same amount. To be clear, if you have 1 million HP in good gear, then you can use your Rallying Cry and gain 150k more. After you remove your good gear, and you get into your bad gear, Rallying Cry is still gonna increase your HP by 150k. This leads to both Rallying Cry and Strength in Numbers giving you a static increase in health. Your other percentage abilities will scale better, such as last time. To get the last needed health, there are two different ways. The first one is to get the world buff Stolen Blood from Pandaria. This stacks to a 50% increase, and it lasts for 3 minutes. It persists anywhere. So with this, I can set my Hearthstone near a location I want to perform the one shot, and then I can simply use that and prepare the combo. The other way, that is less stressful, is to have two friends, one Resto Shaman for a 10% more health, as well as an Arms of Fury Warrior using Rallying Cry with Master and Commander talent making Rallying Cry much stronger. I did try having a friend use Spark of Inspiration, stating it increased the damage of Azure Essences by 45%, but this doesn't seem to work for some reason. Can you imagine PP scaling increased the damage of Animal of Death, but not an Essence that's supposed to? Anyway, the whole combo is the following. Start off in your Strength in Numbers gear, spawn Toads around you and drink Sulfur and Slammer to get a chance to proc the trait. After you've gotten it, Swap into your highest possible health set, use all your health increases, followed by Rallying Cry. Then you shift into your low eye level gear, and watch out anyone you want with Anim of Death. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more.